hello everyone so welcome to this new session so we are continuing with the problems only which we have left in the last session so this is the fifth problem very simple problem this is from the model paper okay so that's why i'm solving it this is very simple determine the range of k for stability of unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is given as g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 using routh stability criterion so here they have mentioned unity feedback so g of s value and h of s value i have taken it here so now try to found the characteristic equation we know that it is the trans, uh, denominator of the transfer function that is 1 plus g of s into h of s right is equal to 0 so now 1 plus g of s substitute it as k into s into s plus 1 s plus 2 so h of s is 1 so no need to write that so now 1 plus k into so multiply this s square plus s into s plus 2 so therefore this is equal to 0 1 plus k divided by so multiply s cube plus uh, s square s cube plus 2s square plus s square plus 2s so that is 1 plus k divided by s cube plus 3s square plus 2s is equal to 0 if we take the LCM we will be getting s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus k equal to 0 right so this is the characteristic equation here which we have got okay so now for this characteristic equation try to write the Routh array s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 coefficient of s cube is 1 skip one term coefficient of s is 2 0 coefficient of s square is 3 skip one term k 0 so now multiply this that is 3 2s are 3 into 2 minus k divided by 3 that is 6 minus k by 3 so write it here 6 minus k by 3 okay then here it is again 3 into 0 minus 1 into 0 so numerator term would be 0 so this is 0 and again 6 minus k by 3 into k this is 0 divided by 6 minus k by 3 so this can cancel and the left out term is k okay so now here since uh, this is uh, last term should be always greater than 0 okay so now what we, we can do is consider the above term that is 6 minus k by 3 is greater than 0 6 minus k if you bring this 0, 3 to other side it is greater than 0 therefore 6 is greater than k okay so uh, we can say that the range of k is from 0 to 6 so k lies between 0 to 6 so this is the range of k so this was one simple problem which is there in the model paper so that's why i have solved it you can refer it so now let's get to the very very important problem and the last problem of this concept very very important okay you need to listen it very carefully let's solve it now so this is the last problem of this concept of route array route stability this is a very very important question mark it as very very important so using routes criteria determine the stability of the following systems okay so they have given two sub questions that is in first sub question they have not given it directly so you need to analyze the question very carefully it's open loop transfer function as poles at s is equal to 0 s is equal to minus 1 and s is equal to minus 3 and it has the zeros at s is equal to minus 5 and gain k of forward path is 10 okay so now from this sub question what we can analyze is from this sub question try to write the open loop transfer function g of s into h of s okay we know that it's uh, they have given the poles it has poles at 0 minus 1 and minus 3 and we know that in a transfer function the poles lies in the denominator side right so what we can write is first try to write this you know, denominator s is equal to 0 so write s into s is equal to minus 1 so we can write they have given this is the roots okay so before this step how to find the roots s plus 1 is equal to 0 so that's why we are getting s is equal to minus 1 we need to equate the poles uh, we need to equate the denominator uh, to find the poles equal to 0 right so that's why s plus 1 equal to 0 so from that from that's why you are getting s is equal to minus 1 so we can write s plus 1 same goes with here s plus 3 in the numerator side also we need to be equating numerator equal to 0 in order to find the zeros 
so they have given s is equal to minus 5 so s plus 5 but it's not done yet they have also given the gain k of forward path as 10 we know that g of s is into s h of s the general form is k into 1 plus t1 s 1 plus t2 s divided by s power j into 1 plus t a s 1 1 plus t b s and it goes on right so here in the value of k they have mentioned it as 10 so we need to write 10 into s plus 5 so using this first sub question like this we need to analyze it okay so now for this again try to find the characteristic equation denominator of the transfer function 1 plus g of s into h of s so 1 plus 10 into s plus 5 10s plus 50 divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 3 so that is 1 plus 10s plus 50 divided by s square plus s into s plus 3 so that is if you solve this what we will be getting here is s cube into 3s square into s square plus 4s square plus 3s plus 10s here we have 10s plus 50 equal to 0 okay this is equal to 0 right so therefore s cube plus 4s square plus 3s plus 10s is 13s plus 50 equal to 0 so in this way we have found the characteristic equation right so now try to write the Rao theory for this s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 coefficient of s cube is 1 skip one term coefficient of s power 1 is 13 skip one term no terms are 0 so coefficient of s square here is 4 coefficient of uh, 13 as skip it and write 50 0 so now using these two rows try to find the third row elements that is 13 4s are 13 into 4 minus 50 15 to 1 is 50 divided by 4 that is 50 13 4s are 52 minus 50 by 4 that is equal to 2 by 4 or 1 by 2 ok so right here it has 1 by 2 so here it is 0 so multiply this 1 by 2 into 50 minus 4 into 0 is 0 divided by 1 by 2 so we can cancel these two out so 50 is the term here so here we can say that they have told us to find the determine the stability right in the question they have mentioned to determine the stability so here how to determine the stability check the first column elements all the elements are positive right so we can say that the system is stable right since there is no sign change in the first column system is stable okay so in this way the first sub question is solved okay since in this question they have given only poles and zeros they have not mentioned the transfer function so using those poles and zeros try to write the transfer function and solve it okay so now let's get to the second sub question so in the second sub question they have clearly mentioned that it is a type 1 system right see the question here i have written it in the previous phase so i can't turn it again you can see the question first try to write, uh, write down the question and see it it's a type 1 system so first according to that try to write the transfer function that is g of s into h of s in general form for type 1 system that is k into 1 plus t1 s 1 plus t2 s divided by type 1 so s power 1 right s to the power 1 that is s to the power 1 into 1 plus t a s 1 plus TBS and goes on ok so therefore G of S into H of S is equal to so in the question they have not mentioned any zeros ok so write only K and they have mentioned the poles ok so S power 1 is S first write it as it is and they have mentioned the poles sir, at S is equal to minus 3 and minus 6 so we can write what S into poles they have mentioned so S plus 3 into s plus 6 right ok so this is the g of s into h of s term and also for type 1 they have given the error constant for type 1 ok if you recall the concept which you have done earlier for type 1 always the error constant taken is kv right so here in this question kv they have mentioned it as kv is equal to 10 
okay they have mentioned kv is equal to 10 so now write the formula for kv okay that is limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s right for kv so kv is equal to limit s tending to 0 sk divided by s into s plus 3 into s plus 6 so but this here in the denominator side it's not in the general form so try to write it in the general form that is limit s tending to 0 you can cancel this s here out and k divided by take 6 into 3 common outside 1 by 1 plus s by 3 into 1 plus s by 6 so kv is equal to limit s tending to 0 k divided by 6 3 is 18 into 1 plus s by 3 into 1 plus s by 6 right so kv is equal to apply the limits k divided by 18 into 1 plus 0 by 3 is 0 1 plus 0 by 6 is 0 so that's equal to 18 divided by k divided by 18 into 1 into 1 so that is 80 but in the question they have mentioned the value of kv so now substitute the value of kv so 10 and bring this 18 to other side equal to k so our value of k we are getting it as 180 right so now substitute this back value of k back in this equation and again try to write the transfer function that is g of s into h of s is equal to in place of k now write it 180 divided by s into s plus 3 into s plus 6 so this is the g of s into h of s which we have obtained so now here again try to write the characteristic equation now using this that is 1 plus g of s into h of s right equal to 0 the denominator of the transfer function that is 1 plus 180 divided by s into s plus 3 into s plus 6 equal to 0 1 plus 180 divided by s square plus 3s into s plus 6 equal to 0 so that is s cube 6 and s square multiply 6s square plus 3s into s is 3s square plus 3s into 6 is 18s plus 180 here we have after taking the LCM equal to 0 so s cube plus 9s square plus 18s plus 180 equal to 0 so here this is the characteristic equation obtained here so in order to find the stability draw the route array and check for the stability okay so now we need to draw the route array for this s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 so now s cube coefficient is 1 skip one term write the coefficient of s that is 18 skip one term no coefficient that is 0 so yes, coefficient of s square now 9 skip one term and write 180 0 okay and now do the cross multiplication 9 into 18 that is 162 18 9 is a 162 minus 180 divided by 9 that is 162 minus 180 if you calculate it is minus 18 by 9 so 9 ones are 9 twos are the answer here we get is minus 2 so write it here minus 2 okay so second element 9 into 0 minus 1 into 0 divided by 9 is 0 and again minus 2 into 180 minus 9 into 0 is 0 so this we can neglect divided by minus 2 so we can cancel this 180 okay and again now check the first column so you can see that there is a sign change here from plus to minus and here also from minus to plus so here we have two sign change okay so if there are two sign change the system is so if there is any sign change the system is unstable okay so in this way we have uh, checked the stability of both the cases from uh, first sub question and second sub question like this we need to solve okay so this con concludes the concept of uh, route array route stability okay we have solved many many problems and we have understood all the types of cases very well okay so that's all for this session from the next session we are going to start with the the second chapter of this module which is very very important okay you need to listen it very very carefully the topic is root locus okay 
so this is the main concept of this whole subject only okay root locus you need to be knowing it very very thoroughly because the steps are very complicated and i am going to explain it in a very detailed manner so please stay tuned for that like share subscribe okay you can refer our playlist we have solved all the model paper solution it might be appearing on the right of your screen now see all the playlists are available please check it out and do support this channel okay thank you